We begin tonight with the presentation of colors to be made by the Fernandina Beach High School Navy Junior ROTC Color Guard under the direction of Navy Captain Greg Greedis and Chief Gregory Brimall. The national anthem will be sung by Julia Savage. Would everyone please rise and remain standing through the invocation. Somebody sings the national anthem like that. I hate it when it gets oversung. That was beautiful. Great job. Great job. Our invocation this evening will be given by Reverend Jeff Overton of First Baptist Church of Fernandina Beach. Let's pray together. Lord the Heavenly Father, we bow before you now. We thank you, God, for your mighty hand upon our little town, God. We thank you for the love we have one for another. We thank you for the bonds that draw us together, especially at an event like this time, Lord, where we can come together and outsiders come in and see the love we have in Fernandina Beach. God, we thank you for the beautiful weather around us. We thank you for those who have worked so hard on this event, God. May you bless them and bless our time together. We love you, Lord. We praise you. And God bless America. God bless Fernandina Beach. We love you, God. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Overton. You know, it takes an entire year of planning to bring you the Shrimp Festival that lasts only two and a half days. The Shrimp Festival Committee is made up of over 50 dedicated volunteers and city staff who meet and plan year-round. Please welcome the directors of the Festival Committee to the stage. One step forward, folks. Keep moving up. Move on down. All right. I want to introduce you to our committee, the, our festival chairman, Danny Leeper. Secretary, Barbara Book. Treasurer, Charmaine Woodward. Antiques, Beth Park. And Pat Kaminsky. Amelia Island, CBB. Gil Langley and Bretta Walker. Communications, Dick and Betty Sue Bradford. Our contest coordinator is Christine Scott. Entertainment, Mark Deaton and Terry Deaton. 
Event PR, Larry Hertz and Jim Kaminsky. Fine Arts and Crafts, Pat Hooks and Susie Sachs. Food Booths, Tom Hill, Ed Livingston, Ralph Watson, Francis Watson, Roland Sauls, Kelleen Sauls, Mike Sapp, and Jenny Sapp. Hospitality, Allison Douglas. Kids Fun Zone, Catherine Eliezer and Bobby Matthews. Marina, Joe Springer. Our opening ceremony this evening, Mary Sykes. The parade. Did you catch the parade yesterday? Parade, Desiree Dinkle. What would Shrimp Festival be without our Pirates? The Pirates Club. Billy Childers, Judy Mackey. Police and Traffic, Captain David Bishop. Public Facilities, Bino Roberts. And what it's all about, Shrimpers. Ricky Doverly, Christine Scott, Steve and Wanda Hare. Shuttle Buses, Molly Main. T-shirts, Holly Germano and Wayne Lunt. Dawn Lunt, I'm sorry. Dawn Lunt. Uh, website, Jim Swearington and Theater Jordan. Executive Director, Sandy Price, bringing it all together. Our city partners include Administration, Michael Zimbor, Kim Briley, Events, Susan Hurley, Fire and Rescue, Chief Dan Haynes and Fire Marshal Jason Higginbotham, Parks and Rec, Nan Boyd, Police, Chief Jim Hurley and Captain David Bishop, Public Streets, Glenn Simonson, Rex Lester, Utilities, John Mandrake. We salute our host partner, the City of Fernandina Beach, the City Commissioners, the City Manager, and the entire City staff for working so closely with us. We're grateful for all their assistance and support year-round. As the host city, they also work and plan for months along with us to help coordinate the Shrimp Festival. The committee also wishes to thank the numerous businesses and especially the residents in the immediate festival area for lending us the entire downtown area for the festival. So thank you, Shrimp Festival Committee. You can go back to work now. Let's hear, let's hear it, hand for our Shrimp Festival Committee. Thanks, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor Susan Hardy Steger, who would like to say a few words. Thank you very much. Welcome to the 48th Annual Shrimp Festival. To our guests, welcome to the city of Bernardina Beach, birthplace of modern shrimping, located on the Isle of Eight Flags. We are delighted to have you here with us this evening. We are indeed fortunate to be celebrating this festival, and we are indeed fortunate to have a hard-working group of dedicated volunteers under the direction of Sandy Price to make this weekend possible. Thank you again, Shrimp Festival Committee, for all you do. 48 years ago, we began this celebration to focus on an important industry in our city, the shrimping industry. The first festival was centered around shrimp boat races in our river and the blessing of the fleet. It was a half day event. The races are no more, but we continue to honor an industry and our hardworking shrimpers who bring to us the most delicious sweetest tasting wild caught shrimp on the face of the earth. Support our local
pineapple shrimpers and eat only wild caught shrimp. As this festival has grown, so have the activities. Good food in our booths, manned by nonprofit volunteers, the magnificent artwork under the direction of the Island Art Association, antique galleries, the Georgia Bulldog, activities for children, and wonderful musical events. So take advantage of this very special setting, this very special community. Stick around, enjoy yourselves, eat in our restaurants, shop in our shops, come back tomorrow, have fun, be safe, and we hope to see all of our visitors and citizens again next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Steer. In keeping with Shrimp Festival tradition, each year we honor an individual with special ties to the local shrimping industry as our parade grand marshal. Shrimpers represent the history and heritage of the Shrimp Festival. So please join me in welcoming Ca Captain Lindsey Parker with the University of Georgia Marine Extension Service in Brunswick, Georgia to introduce our 2011 Grand Marshal. I don't know if I'm qualified, but we'll do what we can. <laughs> uh, yes, your, your Grand Marshal, he was born a long time ago, 1947. Uh, he got into the shrimping business, honestly. His daddy shrimped and ran pokey boats. He was born up in Beaufort, South Carolina. But his daddy moved down to St. Mary's shortly thereafter and uh, set up a fish house, had as many as 26 boats. Or had, had 26 boats during his career, as many as five or six at a time, uh, fishing the waters of the East Coast as well as the Gulf of Mexico, uh, even occasionally trucking over to uh, Mexico, but all wild call. Are you videotaping? Uh, he, he uh, let's say, was born in 47 and grew up right there in St. Mary's. His daddy, by that time, around there had uh, uh, the, the local dock and all the shrimp boats. Had uh, Dickie and Son Seafood right there. I believe where Cal Lang Seafood is now, over in St. Mary's. Jim? Shrimp an uh, awful lot. Uh, he wound down his career. He, he worked all the East Coast and around in the Gulf to Texas. But uh, these days he settled in a little bit and he helps keep us straight on the bulldog when we can, when we can keep him. And does a, an odd number of odd jobs. Uh, running the ferry boat to Fernandina. And yes, my pleasure my honor to introduce Jim Dickey, your Grand Marshal. We have a plaque to present to Mr. Dickey. Mr. Dickey, it is my extreme pleasure to present you with this Pirate Parade plaque as Grand Marshal. On behalf of the committee, I thank you. Thank you, Captain Lindsay, and thank you, Mr. Dickey. And uh, right now, Mr. Dickey is going to make his way to the Shrimpers Monument on the south side of the lot for a tradition that we established several years ago by the uh, Shrimp Festival Committee in recognition of the shrimping industry and to honor to the uh, many shrimpers past and present along with their families. We also memorialize those who during their lives played a role of support for the Shrimp Festival. If you will, please clear the center, center aisle for the procession as Mr. Dickey will walk over to place a ceremonial wreath at the Shrimpers Monument and then join us in a moment of silence he will be preceded by the ROTC color guard. <laughs> <laughs> 